Hi Scott. Hi Jess. Happy 20th birthday to Fitness Enhancement. Thanks, not 20th birthday for me, 20th for business. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Just. Yeah. Right around there. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the last 20 years. Yeah. We're obviously sitting in front of a wall of success stories yep. of your clients yep. for the last 20 years. So. Mm. Tell me about how you've achieved success for people. Yeah, sure. Well, we need a bigger wall. Um, I guess over <laughs> 20 years, we've had thousands of people come through. Uh, some of our clients are still with us and have been with us for 10, 15, 20 years. Wow. And others have moved on, but we're still in, in touch with a lot of our old clients, which is really, really awesome. Um, and yeah, I guess we're still here two decades on because we, we, we get clients and the results they come in for. Yeah. And I guess having someone for 20 years is a real testament to the fact that you're doing something right. Yeah. What do you think some of the common reasons are that people would stop training that we've been able to overcome in order to keep them training? Yeah, I guess so. The biggest ones is I find a lot of places don't focus on working on that long-term health and happiness and success of a client. Now, in some times that's not a problem. If you're doing a 12-week challenge, most people aren't going to come back for week 13, of course, and that's <laughs> that's fine. There's a place for that, but we've always been about more long-term health you're 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 doing exercise for the rest of your life i know yeah. it sounds negative that you've got exercise for the rest of your life no, but that's the rea reality of it is that same with healthy eating right exactly same with healthy eating same with brushing your teeth if you want to keep healthy teeth for the rest of your life you've probably got to brush them every day it's a good analogy it's the same it's the same with exercise you don't have to do it every day if you're doing it the right way in a smart way with a good trainer um you don't have to do it every day but that sort of approach of going you know it's it's a marathon, it's not a sprint exercise. That's, yeah. that's what's really worked for us, I think. And so obviously it's been two decades. Mm -hmm. Over the last two decades, you've probably seen a lot of trends, a lot of fads yep. that have come and gone. What yep. are some of the things that have changed and how have you managed to sort of stay the same or even improve? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, two decades is, is a long time. So, um, I mean, even 10 years ago, um, I think CrossFit was just starting to take off then. 24-7 weren't really in existence. A few that were seemed like a silly idea. It, it was very different. 20 years ago, there was just gyms and that was that was it. I mean, less competition? Yeah, less competition in some ways. But you know what? I think in some ways, it, it, it's always been it's always been comparable. As a business owner, there's been pros and cons. The, the, the whole time. I mean, in town here, where, where my main studio is, we had one competitor. Um, now we've got about a dozen within two kilometres of us, and many that have come and gone over the years. Um, so definitely less competition in that respect, but just different challenges as, as time goes on uh, uh, over the years. So why do people choose to come to us now? Yeah, well, look, I guess one of those things is that tagline we can use, the award-winning trainer since 99. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's true, but it's a great marketing line too. And that, I guess, does sum up a lot of what we're about. Um, people want quality, long-term trainers that are industry recognized as some of the best, then people just know that we're the place to come. Obviously, having clients for 20 years, a lot of people know who we are as well, mm -hmm. um, and they get those results. Um, when they're shopping around, they're doing a Google search as to, as to who to who to go to. I think once they speak to our trainers and look at some of the results and get our clients, I think that's, that, that, that's a really good point for our clients as well. And a lot of people don't like training in sort of like your typical gym setting. Mm -hmm. People find it maybe intimidating or uncomfortable. They're out on show in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. What do we do that's a little different there? Yeah, our 100% private training really sums up a lot of it. It means if it's one of our private studios or in the privacy of your own home, it's you and your trainer, no one else allowed in your private space. Focus is completely on you, no one else. And that's a really big thing for a lot of people who don't feel comfortable exercising, is that trainers can be focused on the clients, and our trainers are also really down to earth too. Mm. The trainers not focus on themselves, they're focused on the client. That's right, there's no one to show off to, because no. it's just you and the trainer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I guess a lot of people might not realize that we actually do go out to people's homes as well. So that mobile personal training, that solves a lot of problems for a lot of people, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Our mobile training, funnily enough, has really come full circle. When I started 20 years ago, I was mobile because I couldn't afford anything but some gear in the boot of my car. Um, and no one wanted a 19 year old kid with them dumbbells in his boot coming to their house. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, but anyway, I made it work over time and opened up my studio and then we expanded back into mobiles as this got, got basically booked out. And now people love it because we're a credible established company coming into your home. Trust is a big thing when inviting a stranger into your home. Yeah. Um, and of course it does solve a lot of those problems. We've got a lot of clients who will train when their kids are still asleep in the morning and they can't get out of the house. Yeah. Other clients will train because they just 
couldn't be bothered going anywhere. We're not knocking on their front door, they're not going to exercise. Um, it's a really great option and results come from a trainer who knows what they're doing and cares about those results. Mm. They, they don't come from a fancy multi-million dollar gym where no one knows your name. And you've been in business for 20 years, but you actually have some trainers who have been with you for quite a long time as well, don't you? Yeah, um, quite a few of our trainers have been with us for 10 years, a lot of them for five years. Um, it's really great to get quality, long-term staff like that. And I guess it all, it all sort of works together as one, really. If you're not getting quality, long-term trainers looking after the long-term success of the clients, it's kind of hard to have long-term successful clients as well. That's right. Um, you look after the trainers, the trainers look after the clients, and everybody's happy. We're all happy, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what um, what are some areas maybe of expansion and growth, like I know NDIS, we've sort of really seen grow a lot recently? Yeah, NDIS has been really exciting for us. We've, we've always been about helping people exercise who can't or won't normally exercise by themselves. That's always been our base. We're not about nature. bikinis as much, are we? No, not at all. <laughs> um, by that nature, we've always had quite a few clients with like, special needs or disabilities or simply people who haven't exercised for 30 years. Oh, right, like all like that, Exactly. Yeah. So it's great to actually see the government putting some money into actually funding clients with a disability to actually get more out of life. Mm. And we're the um, largest NDIS registered personal training company in Australia. That's awesome. So that's opened up a lot of doors, which is really exciting for us and our trainers um, and exciting for their clients too. So that's been really rewarding for our trainers too because um, I think results and satisfaction wise for our for our team getting a fit person fitter anyone can do that but getting someone able to do something in their life that they haven't been able to do before ever or for a decade mm. that, that's a real achievement so that's, that's life changing isn't exactly it? it is literally life changing sometimes life saving and that's the reason we all get into it in the first place isn't it exactly what was your mission when you first started like why did you want to get into fitness yeah it's funny you know i guess i always knew i wanted to be a business owner mm. And I fell into fitness when I was about 15 or 16 or something. And I um, I guess like most teenage boys, felt kind of awkward in the gym and was kind of awkward. <laughs> and opening up this business like this, I went, yeah, I don't, I don't feel comfortable in this place. And I realized almost no one else felt comfortable in this place. And I was pretty determined, so I kept training. But I'd see people join the gym, see them for two weeks, disappear, never see them again. Mm -hmm. That was just as a consumer, as a switched on kid. And I went, well, there's, there's got to be a smart way to do it. So that's why I started my there's business. There's an opportunity here. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that. It was always very entrepreneurial, hence, hence our growth over the years. Mm -hmm. But it was also just going, it just seems kind of dumb that people feel really awkward exercising in front of people half their age and half their weight, and therefore they fail miserably. Surely there's a smarter way to do it than that. Um, here you are, 20 years later. Ex exactly, exactly. Now it took me quite a few years to make that system work, of course, but um, over time and hard work and persistence, we, um, yeah, we are where we are now. Very exciting. Well, I really look forward to seeing what the next 20 years brings. Congratulations on making it this far. Thanks.